Welcome. This is the Energy Vibration Reading for us, Virgo, Sun, Moon, and Rising. I want to say thank you for being here. This is the 25th week of the year 2017. The week begins from the 19th until the 25th. And this is the fourth week of June, so we have an, another week to go. I want to say thank you for being here. If this is your first time, please subscribe. Thanks to all the Virgos out there who has been with me for a very long time. Thanks to all my subscribers. I want to say please listen to your sun, moon, and rising. Listen to the um, the um, month reading of June because we're in the fourth week and we still have another week to go. And please, please listen to the third quarter that is coming up, which is July, August, and September because those videos are up. Okay, this is a wonderful week. There's a lot of people, a lot of people. You yourself is in your readings. Um, uh, you Virgos are in your readings. Um, it's, a, it's a positive, positive week. Um, with um, the wheel of fortune which is the all and the devil in reverse the wheel of fortune is here and the devil is in reverse so this is good there's a lot of love coming in a lot of energy vibration of the queens are here which is the women it's going to be a positive week because the connection of the queen of cups the queen of pentacles which is yourself and the queen of sword but what is whatever is happening this queen of sword have no effect on you because she and it's as if if you're having a legal suit or something like that you have justified over the king of wands whoever the king of wands is the king of wands is always the aries the leos and um aries leos and um the Sagittarians. So whatever, whatsoever is happening, you are seeing this positive, positive effect that you have um, justify over him. The Wheel of Fortune brings um, um, judgment to you, which it is bringing a calling out to you. So whatsoever has been happening in your life, it's bringing a positive calling out to you. The number one energy is there positive because it's all about new beginning. You have the Ace of Swords, which is all about new beginning. This sort of a thing is going on, so it's good. As we look at Monday the 19th, we have the Seven of Cups, which is a wonderful energy. On Monday, all your worries and all that was blocking you and all the burdens that you have been carrying has been removed. So... For some people, you had an, a situation with the Queen of Cups and that burden, that situation with that Queen of Cups is out of your way. It has uh, been removed out of your way, which is so good. That in, So on Monday, you have the energy vibration, which is the energy of... Um, the, the, the seven of cups on Tuesday you have the ten of cups a happy family time and you it's all you Virgos all you Virgos women are going to have a happy family time it could be that you're going on vacation it could be that you're doing something with your kids it could be that you're connecting um, on a vacation with your family and this is going to be extremely wonderful for you men and women Virgos because on Tuesday it's going to be a fantastic connection with the family and this is extremely extremely good for you guys so that was another emotional time and good emotion on Wednesday which is a uh, your um your your focus for the week is that you're no longer in limbo you're out of limbo you have uh, um, gain the energy, the 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 strength, the inner strength that you were looking for, because this week is the energy of inner strength, and you have gained that inner strength, and you are no longer in limbo, and you see your way out. You have uh, clear the energy, um, the energy around you with the, the Queen of Sword energy. So you Virgos are good because you have clear whatever that was going on with the Queen of Sword energies. So, on Thursday, congratulations, you have victory and success. And this victory of success is a wonderful victory of success over the devil. So on Thursday, you have this wonderful victory and success that is coming in for you guys. And you have victorious uh, um, with your, 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 your financial situation over the devil. So it says uh, the devil is coming in on Friday. And this devil was 
you know, like blocking your way and this success is coming in. So this devil on Friday have no influence over you and whatever money that was supposed to come in, you are going to see that coming in because you will get the message on Friday that the money is coming to you. As we look at Saturday, which is a wonderful day, you have the Wheel of Fortune, which is so positive. Um, the Wheel of Fortune and Upright is bringing a lot of people. So it's like, whoa, judgment. But the Wheel of Fortune is bringing you wonderful, wonderful um, thing from, you know, the fortune, luck, success, and all that sort of a thing. So if you were sitting in a bad position in your life, you're going to see that it starts to become good and it's going to be a very positive Wheel of Fortune is always on Saturday. If you're thinking about doing something on Saturday, it's a yes, go ahead for it. On Sunday, finally, this King of Wands is finally out of your life. Whosoever he is, whatsoever he had blocked your way with, he's finally out of your life, whoever you are. Um, if he's a Leo, uh, um, uh, a Sagittarius or an Aries he's out of your life now whatever uh, Kavok he was creating for you is out of your life uh, new doors of opportunities are going to come in so this is wonderful so for love it's going to be a very wonderful week with love because the family the energy of the family is a very connecting thing there's absolutely no um, negative energy because the only thing on Friday which the devil that was blocking your financial situation is now in the reverse form which I love him in the reverse form. I wish if he could always be in the reverse form because what is happening is that changes are coming in your life. There's a lot of love because if you have kids who's between the ages of 18 and 21, there's going to bring a lot of love to you. You are have, going to have a lot of victory and success in this week. Whatsoever is happening around you, it's going to be a positive week. In the sense of business, there's not much about business going on. It's all about love. It's all about you finding your balance, which you have found. It's all about the wonderful things wonderful situations are coming in your life and this is going to bring you positive energy the news of money is going to come in your life whosoever whatsoever that was blocking your financial flow this is now removed and there is going to be triumphant in this situation as we look forward we're looking at the energy and innocent innocent so you Virgos uh, have a wonderful 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 message from Archangel Michael he says you're innocent innocent so dear God and angels thank you for helping me see all of the qualities of pure love and light and are reflected within me and all others help me to embrace my God-given innocent so that I may be at peace this is the most beautiful, profound card because the energy of innocent is always a wonderful, vibrating sense that is happening for us as Archangel Michael will give us this energy. And there is also something that is coming up that is very important. It says that prior will help the situation. So for somebody out there that is going through a situation, prior will help your situation. And it says, Dear God and Archangel Michael and whoever you pray to, um, I ask for your divine intervention in this situation. I welcome your help and I trust and follow your guidance with gratitude and grace. I need a miracle and I ask that you send me one for this situation quickly. Thank you and Amen. So remember, I told you people, stop sitting and waiting for things to happen but ask the angels and guides and whenever you sit in our um and sit certain situation um some of you are innocent to whatsoever that's going on and some people needs to pray and ask for a miracle and you know you just call up an archangel michael and i get it to read it another time and he says dear archangel michael and whoever you're praying to i'm asking you for divine intervention i welcome your help and i trust and follow your guidance with gratitude and grace i need a miracle and i'm asking that you send me one for this situation quickly thank you and amen this is such a positive energy. I love working with Archangel Michael. He's my protective angels and I am the protective angels for everyone. 
um, if you ask him and you call upon him. And now I'm asking the angels what is the answers for the questions for the Virgo people in this week. Yes. <laughs> oh my God. I'm sorry, guys, but I so love this. Yes, card. Yes, yes, yes. You're innocent and pray and ask for a miracle. Yes. What's the ever your question is? It is a yes, people. I love this. Let me, I have to read this yes thing. And I open the book and it comes up. So the angels want to tell you something. Okay, bravo. Your decision, the decision you have made is the right one. There's no need to continue sorting through additional options. You know what to do and you should move forward with your plans. Um, you have made the correct choices for your personal growth and development. Um, however, some decisions can be a true challenge. If the task ahead of you is daunting or even sad, then proceed with your plans in a way that is life affirming and self loving. Ask the angels to be with you every step of the way and don't hesitate to call upon friends and family for support so this is wonderful this is extremely wonderful yes 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 people to so whatever you're asking for out there if the answer is yes I am guided to go back to these energies to look and as I said the number the number um, for you guys uh, is the ones it's all about new beginnings uh, it's the ones it's uh, you a triumphant over the king of ones so um this can be a situation that you stand up against someone who is of uh, and fire sign energy and uh, this wheel of fortune brings you success uh, and uh, you know open up doors uh, for the king of wands so he will, will remove so whatever is happening for the people who needed a prior against the devil he's in return is in um, the return form and he has no more effect on you um, a lot of love it's a love from um, someone who is the queen of cups it could be um, a relative um, new beginnings are going to happen for you guys there's so much love in this week there's a lot of connection uh, but this week is all about the love and victory victory over diversity victories over certain aspects and certain things in your life in this week and I want to say to each and every person remember to listen to this month reading because we're in the fourth week we have another week to go and please remember to listen to your Sun moon and rising sign and I'm wishing each and every person out there a wonderful positive week remember positivity is the best thing and love is the only thing that is real namaste until next week